You learn a lot of heavy stuff today, huh? Yes. <laughs> so the question is, what is all this? Can I erase that? Yeah, you can erase it here. Let me let me help you. I'll, I'll get all that for you. I'll move it over. It's pretty cool what Dennis just did, right? Yeah, definitely. Some of you, I can tell even from the back of your heads, it was kind of an awakening. Because you were freaked out that somebody said they'd actually be on the webinar. Okay. Because getting a yes, getting accomplishment feedback, sometimes you may go through a month before somebody tells you yes, you can just listen. And that that has an effect. And that effect eats away like a cancer at your self-confidence. It eats away like a cancer uh, at your self-esteem. You begin to doubt your skill set, your sales ability, and everything else. And sales is all about transference. Has everybody, has everybody been to my last training? Is there anybody in here who wasn't at my last training? So everybody has, okay. So we covered a lot of stuff. And I gotta apologize for that, but I don't get here very often, so I'm not here four times a week. So we do hit a lot of stuff. And some of that stuff, you know, we might be skipping a grade or two when you're trying to learn things in a linear fashion. Would everybody kind of agree with that? Yes. And I know that. I've been doing training for a long, long time, and I try not to do that, actually. I don't like to skip, uh, skip a grade. I like to make sure we hit first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, so that we have a foundation, a fundamental understanding of what sales is all about. Because the ingredients to be a successful salesperson, it's all up here. All of this stuff that was up there before, all the things that you've learned, all of the training that they have, doesn't amount to a row of rabbit crap. What's important is how you think about you, whether or not you believe in you and your ability to do this. Otherwise, guess what? You can have the most knowledge in the world. You can know everything there is to know about this product, how to present it, and everything else. But if you never pick up the phone, if you never go and get beat up, then you're never going to be successful. Would you agree with that? Yes. yes. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do, instead of talking to you at 12th grade, 11th grade, and freshman year in college, what we're going to do is we're going to step back a little ways, and by doing that, we're going to step all the way back to the most fundamental thing of all, and that is understanding that sales is transference. And we're going to help each other understand our own transference. Want to do that? Not even a real uncomfortable now. <clears throat> okay? Because what we're going to talk about doing and what we are going to do <clears throat> is some of the things that are the most difficult in sales, and that's self evaluation. A lot of people lit up like Christmas trees when Dennis was up here and actually doing a call and the call was successful. It's like, wow, even though it was his success, okay? But the fact is you felt it too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. It was transference. It was like we were all on the call. By the way, everybody understands you can use Dennis's story, my business partner. That's what you say. My business partner made this much money in a month. He made this much money in two months. Notice that he did the very same thing each time, even the jokes. Why do you suppose he did that? Because he found out that by doing the very same thing every time, he could make a million and a half dollars. Have you ever heard the expression, everybody's different? Yes. You've heard that, right? Yes. That's bullshit. Excuse my French. <laughs> okay? Everybody's the same. Okay? If everybody was different, we couldn't mass produce anything in this country. True? The fact is, we mass produce everything. From the clothes that you're wearing, to the chairs that you're sitting on, to the pens that you write with, to the cell phones that you're playing with, 
We mass produce everything in our lives. Guess what? This pitch that he just gave was a mass production. I guarantee you, he's probably given that pitch at least 100,000 times. And most of those times, 97,000 of them, he got a no. Because it doesn't take a lot to be successful in sales. Because if you do something often enough, here's what happens. An average will begin to appear. Okay? If you do something long enough, there will be an average. Like if you go to, if you're coming to bat, okay, and you're on a baseball team, and you come to bat 30, 40, 50 times, you're going to get a hit every so often. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in baseball, what happens if you strike out seven out of ten times? They fire you. <laughs> no, they don't. They pay you four million dollars minimum. Is that not true? Yeah. If you're batting 300. Do they pay you at least $4 million a year? Yes. And that's for losing most of the time. Sales is the same way. Okay? We can pay you this kind of money too if you're going to go to bat that many times. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to help you with your averages. We want to help you increase your overall averages in terms of what you can expect to achieve in this arena. You know why most people don't do well in this business, they're shy. They don't have enough decent boldness to make or, or crack the ice. Okay, that's why they're not successful. Today we're going to learn how to crack the ice. Today we're going to learn about your transference. Today we're going to learn about how you project, not necessarily over the phone, but even in person, how you project. So, not money. You're going to be first, but everybody's going to get a chance. Okay, now it's time to peel off to the bathroom and stay there for an hour. Okay, sit down. Okay. You're going to be this prospect, but I want you to sit on the slot. Okay? Sit here. Now, pitch G1E. Pitch G1E. Like if it was just talking here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is the, this is like your best friend from work that we just talked to, right? And tell him about the business. I want everybody. Is there a lot more lights back in there, Tony? Right there. Um, right where you are. Right behind you. There you go. All right, I guess it, those uh, are blown out. Those, those lights don't work back there? No, that's good enough. You'll put them under the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. That's all right. I think everybody can see him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Forget about that stupid uh, mic. I don't care about that. All right. Uh, just go ahead. So I see that you first started working here with me. What's your name? Dean. Dean? Dean. Dean. Well, nice to meet you, Dean. Just wanted to ask you something very important. Have you ever asked yourself a question, like, where would you be right now if from the beginning they would invite you to the greatest companies in the world, like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Stop. What do you think? Good. You liked it? Yeah. Anybody feel good about it? I like it. You liked it? What do you think about it? Do you like it? He's on the right track. Yeah. You think he's on the right track? How about you guys? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. But Did anybody have anything negative to say about what he did? Yeah. What? I just be. I feel like I'm being sold. So you feel like you're being sold. Does so anybody know why she feels like she's being sold? Do you just feel like you're being sold too? We're getting old. Maybe too much information. Okay. Right uh, does anybody know why? It sounds like he's trying to sell instead of trying to offer. He's not grabbing him. He's not asking him okay. about him. What does he need? What you know? What does he want? All right. Let me. We're we're we're, we're going to start learning some things about sales at a core level here. Okay. So, one of the first things you did. First off, let me just tell you this. 90% of the things you did, you did right, okay? You did not do them wrong. You had direct eye contact. You had a smile on your face. You were using hand gestures. Did everybody notice that? Okay? You gave a warm and fuzzy, friendly approach. Did everybody kind of feel that? Okay? Now, one of the reasons that a few people in the room said that it was pushy and it was kind of 
uh, anxious and so on and so forth, is, believe it or not, because of your body language. When you started off your conversation, remember what you did? Anybody? You leaned in. You shook hands. No. Lean forward? No, that's good. Okay. No, no, no. Direct eye contact and smiling was very important. He did it great. He did it great. That was a, that was a sign of a professional, the way that he did it. Okay? Where did he screw up? Mentioned the different services. Nah, 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 nothing to do. We're in the initial part of the conversation. It really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all what he says, believe it or not. He hasn't actually connected with him yet. You gotta connect. Yeah, you gotta connect. You gotta connect because if you don't connect, it doesn't matter what you yeah, say. You, you can say everything absolutely perfect from front to back, but it's not gonna matter because they're not gonna buy. Okay? Because you guys never made a connection. There was no transference of a feeling that you guys could cultivate and make make your own so that when you finally do ask him to buy, they say, okay. Because they're enjoying your, your company and your presence. And they can see you as a sponsor. They can work with you and they like you and they enjoy you. Does that make sense? Okay. But if you don't make that connection, even if this is the greatest thing in the world that this guy has ever heard, ever, the greatest thing, you're still not going to buy. And if you don't understand that and learn that from Jump Street, from the very, very, very beginning, Never going to be successful in sales. Sad, but it's true. Okay? So, here's what you did. Here's where you poisoned the whale. I'm sorry, you know what I mean by poison the whale? Okay? Here's where you screwed the entire presentation. And even if this presentation, I let it go on for like 45 minutes and you said everything perfect, this guy's still not going to buy from you. And here's why. You did 99% of everything correct but you put your hand on your knee when you started to talk. Stupid hand on your knee. Does anybody think that that matters one direction or another? Did you even notice it? Did you even, did, did anybody ever even notice that? No, didn't really mean nothing to anybody, did it? But it does, subconsciously. That's why you was a little nervous. That's why you were a little anxious. That's why it maybe sounds a little pushy, okay? Because this is an expectant. You know what? I'm expecting you to like what I'm going to say. I'm expecting you to do something. Thing is, if you start off talking like that, mentally, physically, you're giving body language that you're actually high pressuring them from Jump Street. Okay? Guess what they do? Not consciously, but subconsciously. Since you're going toward them, they're backing up. <laughs> Okay? How long do you have his hand on his knee? Four seconds? Five? Yeah, the microphone at first. Huh? No? Yeah, the microphone on the other hand. No, he had it first. How long do you have his hand on his knee? Four or five seconds? Ten seconds? All it took. That's all it took. Okay? So you got to be very careful of the body language that you project to someone. Because if you're projecting the wrong body language from Jump Street, that means that you're never going to close the sale. Ever. Yes. So, how would you okay. posture yourself if you're making? Well, that's a good question. Here, go on, go, go over there. Just go back over and see. Okay. <laughs> just, 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 I'm going to use you. Here, get up here in the light, actually. Like, you know, <laughs> police headquarters. Okay. So here's your client right here. Here's our mythological. Can everybody see him? All right. Now, I just want to move him around a little bit, and I want you to tell me how you feel. Because when you're talking to somebody, if you have the correct body language to go with your verbiage, this sale only takes 10 or 15, 20 minutes. Okay, but if you have the wrong body language, you could be here for four days, and you're never going to sell them. They may buy just to get out of the room, but you're not going to sell them. All right? So... Body language is all part of it. So it doesn't matter if you memorize your presentation. You've got to know how you're projecting. What's one of the things I always ask you to do when I come and train? I said, videotape yourself. Get yourself in front of a mirror and start reading, okay? I always tell you, record yourself. Record yourself on the phone. Listen to how you're sounding. Get in front of a mirror. Make your presentations. Because you've got to see how you're projecting. 
Now, here's what you did correctly. He, he was leaning forward before. He had direct eye contact with his client, okay? He had a smile on his face. He was nodding his head. Everybody notice how he was saying yes. Positive, 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 one right after the other. His head was not straight up and down, which is a major problem that a lot of people have. They don't even realize it. You can't sell like this. You've got to have that head tilted one direction or another, okay? Now, he was tilted in, okay, ever so slightly, which was great, all right? But now, let me do this. Why don't you tilt in just a little bit more, okay? Why don't you get your hand off your hip? See, that's a habit. That's a habit. You think there's nothing wrong with that, but there is. So that's a habit you're going to need to break. So just bring it on the inside a little bit. Bring that right there. Lean in just a little bit. Be your regular self. And do your normal hand gestures like you was doing, okay? And smile. And isn't that a warm and friendly posture? Okay? Now, if he said the exact same thing that he said before, we wouldn't have four or five people in the room outwardly say, I'm feeling like I'm getting pushed. Because you know what? Nobody would have felt that. That wouldn't have been a problem, okay? Now, let's let's say we're doing a. Are you getting ready to do something? Yeah, I'm going to set up. Go ahead, keep talking. Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, actually, let's get you up here. <laughs> Here's your client. Go ahead and start to make the presentation. Bet you don't put your hand on your hip. What are you going back? Go ahead. Hi. Go ahead, Priscilla. Priscilla? What? I like your pants. I like your shoes. They match very well. You want me to move forward? Yes. No, no, no. I can come to you. How's that? Okay, come on. How's, that? How's your day going? Hi. Nice to meet you. How's your day going? She's fine. Good? Good. Good. So, okay. I'll come even a little closer. I, just, I won't give you a kiss. <laughs> I promise. So, um, how, how, how do you do, are you open to other incomes? Oh, my income, they're yeah. pretty good. Yeah. We, we get back pretty well. I'm, I'm retired, and my husband is retired. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a double retirement. I only have a single retirement, and he's in the Army. We're fully covered with the health insurance. We don't pay for medication. We don't pay for any surgical procedures or anything like that. So we're pretty well with our income. That's awesome. That's great. You know, I have a good job, too. But I'm looking for another way to make some extra money myself. So I have something to offer you. And I'd like to know if you're open to me sending you a link or maybe having a three-way conversation with one of my uplinks. All right, stop. Okay with you? All right. What do you feel? Like How does he make you feel? He's nervous. He's I a little nervous, nervous, but he's on the spotlight. You gotta kind of ignore that right now because you're never gonna get somebody that's not nervous up there right now. How do he make you feel? Yes. Like like he's stammering. A little bit. He doesn't know where to go. He doesn't have memorized his first four or five sentences. And hopefully all of you do have your first four or five sentences memorized. And, and so you know where you're going. What else? My suggestion is unless you're planning on buying her outfit or wearing it. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, I like your shoes, I like your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look really yeah, yeah, yeah. nice yeah. today. Yeah, it's what okay. you look really well, nice I'm not really worried so much about the verbiage just, right now. We'll, we'll get into that on another okay. training. We're more or less talking about body language right now. No hand gestures? Huh? No hand gestures? It's very small. Your hand gestures could be a little bit larger, but your head was straight up and down. Okay? Secondly, see how you're nodding your, your head like that? Yes. Would have been better to do that when she was talking. Okay? And then, after she finishes a sentence, you can say, oh, really? Or just, in other words, keep her going. People love to talk. People love to talk. And the, and to talk if you're a really great listener, you're going to sell a lot more business. And you, you are a great listener, all right? So just get a little bit more hand motions going a little bit. Remember to tilt your head. You do need to have some you know, sentences that you know that you're going to say, some presentations that you're going to work with. Don't necessarily need to get as close. I know she wanted you to get yes, closer, yeah. But um, you need to lean in a little bit. Because a separation in distance from you and your client is a separation in trust. Okay? It's a separation in business. So the further away you get, okay, um, especially if you're leaning back, 
there's a better chance you're not going to make a sale than if you're leaning forward just a little.